Well, again, it's so good to be back here with you in my home parish. The place looks beautiful. This is my first time celebrating Mass here since the renovation, so it's a real privilege for me to be back here and back home and to uh, see all of you. As we enter into this season of Advent, we are given the image of a mountain in the first reading. In the days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest mountain and raised above the hills. So I went online and I just tried to figure out what the highest mountain was. And by all accounts, it is Mount Everest. And as I was reading and studying about people who climbed Mount Everest, the first people that ever climbed it were back in the early 1950s in that era. And it was uh, a couple people that were climbing up the mountain and there was a priest that somehow knew one of them, and he asked if he would take this crucifix up to the top of Mount Everest. And so he took uh, the crucifix off of his rosary, and he gave it to the man, and he carried it all the way up to Mount Everest, and put it at the very top, and buried it in the snow. And when he returned, and the priest found out, one of the sisters said to the priest, you should tell the Pope about this. And so he went down to uh, write out a message to the Pope, and he began to write a letter, and he realized it was the feast day of Christ the King that we celebrated last Sunday. So he wrote a letter to the Pope, and, and the Pope got it, but it takes a while to respond. And so some months later, he receives a letter back, and the letter is on the Feast of the Holy Rosary. And so he was given this wonderful gift placed at the top of Mount Everest. I want you to think about Advent as a time to climb the mountain. This is a time where we can climb very close to God. Now the thing with mountain climbing is that you have to do some preparation before it. The people that actually go to climb Mount Everest, they go to this base camp and they spend three months at base camp just to acclimate themselves to the higher um, elevation. Advent is a time for us to prepare to climb the mountain and experience God. Now what's interesting is now in order for somebody to climb the mountain, they have to have this Sherpa with them. So this Sherpa is a local guide, and they're the ones that go up beforehand. They make sure all the ropes are there. Everything is, they set up camps at different places. There's oxygen near the top. But they have to have a Sherpa that leads them and guides them up a mountain. Well, during the season of Advent, I want to be your Sherpa. I want to help lead you and, and climb this mountain of God so that you can experience him. And so that's why I wrote this book called Pray 40 Days and have this program in the parish mission for the parish. And my, my hope and my belief is that if you enter into this prayer, if you really enter into this Advent season, you will experience God in a wonderful way. One of the things that I hear the most as a priest is people say to me, Father, I talk to God all the time, but I don't really hear his voice. And sometimes I wonder if he's even listening. And I think part of that is because we just don't know how to really enter into prayer where we can see him and feel him and, and hear his voice. And so that's what I'm going to help you to do over this season of Advent, to climb this mountain of prayer, to move from the very beginner prayer that we learned in second grade to an actual adult prayer where we see and feel and hear God's presence. It's interesting because it says, all nations shall stream toward this mountain, and many people shall come to it and say, come, let us climb the mountain of the Lord. It's interesting, I watched this uh, movie called Everest about climbing Mount Everest, and there's a scene in the movie where one of the Sherpies says to the guys, he goes, why are you climbing this mountain? And he looked around, and nobody really had an answer. And so he picked one guy out, and he said, You, why are you climbing this? And his answer was, Because it's there. Like, it's there, i got to climb it. And so I want you to think about Advent for you. This season right now is a season of grace. Why are you climbing this mountain? If you could ask God for anything or desire from God anything during this season of Advent, and that he could be born in a new way for you on Christmas, what are you hoping for? Maybe there's a mountain in your life of struggle and suffering, and you feel like you're just not making any progress. Maybe you feel, like I said before, like you speak to God, but you don't hear his voice. He wants to have you encounter him in a new way this season of Advent. And so I want you to use that image of this mountain climbing. 
Now, sometimes I like to sing a song, as I'll do during the mission, and I take a, a song here. And uh, just looking at the crowd here today, I had three options I was kind of working on. One was uh, My Miley Cyrus's The Climb, and I thought, mm, I don't know about that one. Then was U2, still haven't found what I'm looking for. Anybody know U2? All right, we're, we're... And then I thought, Ain't No Mountain High Enough. Maybe that's one that you guys would know. So I'm going to sing Ain't No Mountain High Enough, and you're, you're free to join in as well. But I want you to think about this, that God is saying to you that there's no mountain high enough to keep him from getting to you. In this season of Advent, that's what he wants to do. He wants to come to you in a new way. He wants to have you encounter him for real. And so here is Ain't No Mountain High Enough by, who's it by? Diana Ross. Okay, thank you. Maybe I picked the wrong song. Nobody knows this one? Ain't no mountain high, ain't no valley low. River wide enough. Just call my name, I'll be there in a hurry. You don't have to worry. Ain't no mountain high enough, ain't no valley low enough, ain't no river wide enough to keep me from getting to you. Remember the day I set you free. I told you you could always count on me From that day on I made a vow I'll be there if you want me Some way and somehow Ain't no mountain high enough Ain't no valley low enough Ain't no river wide enough To keep me from getting to you I think you guys know it. Sing a little louder for me. Ain't no mountain high enough Ain't no valley low enough Ain't no river wide enough To keep me from getting to you So I want you to know that God wants to get to you in a special way this Advent. Join me in this mountain climb. Join me in this wonderful adventure of Advent where you will come to discover God in a new way. We'll begin with the parish mission, Sunday night, tomorrow night at 7, Monday night at 7, Tuesday night at 7, and then you will have uh, 40, uh, not 40 days, however many days there are in Advent, you will have guided meditations to lead you through this wonderful season of Advent and climb that mountain where you will hear God, you will see God, and you will experience God.